You want to sit with me? <laughs> Quiet on set, people. Jeez Louise. <laughs> nice start, dude. All right. Skipper. All right. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything in this one. Yeah. Are we doing an assembly line? Yeah, dude. I'm gonna take some of these bad boys. That's a nice looking base. As much as I love the backcountry scene and fishing out there day in and day out, I still, I still love to switch it up for myself. You know, get out and do something different. And I enjoy doing it with the captains and, and buddies that, that's their craft. They're the masters of that. And these two brothers, John and James Hagen, I mean, some of the best there is, man. Oh my God, that was a good scoop. Really became great friends with them when I got into high school. John's a couple of years older than I am. James is a couple of years younger than I am. As fishermen, you know, going to Coral Shores is like the coolest high school you can go to. You know, have a dock in the back, but everybody that goes there that is a fisherman, doesn't matter if it's offshore or backcountry, whatever, you're into it. It's kind of like your clique. You know, we're all in sandals and we have board shorts on and let's just say a little, they're a little lenient on what the dress code was for us bum fishing guys and visors and Costa glasses all hanging around their neck. John runs a big Viking called a Madala. Thursday, one of the day, daily. I started running this boat back uh, when I was 28 years old. I got the captain job and uh, we give it up for my boss. It was a little risk trusting a 28 year old with a boat like this and been with him now for going on seven years and it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. He's won a lot of these major tournaments, not just down here, West Palm and going up even to Maryland doing these big blue marlin one. I think he was part of a team that won $2.8 million prize. Got it. Yep. And then you have James who was involved in private boats but now has his own charter boat here out of Postcard Inn. And these guys still to this day, one's 35 and one's 31, still doing the same thing and they're doing it to the highest level. Jared looks well more prepared than me. Yeah, did you bring any foul weather gear? Uh, nope, I didn't have any. You look stout. When you don't know what you're doing, you gotta play the part of knowing what you're doing. Play the part of looking yeah. good. Yeah, not only are these guys just silly talented with their offshore fishing, they're just down to earth guys. Love to have fun. I mean, I'm sitting there calling them the night before, like, hey man, I got this, I got that, and all that. And they're, they're like, yeah, just, just take it down a notch there, cowboy. He goes, we're gonna go out, we'll catch your fishies, it's gonna be fine, you know? And I just start laughing, and I was like, man, it's, I sound like a client to calling me, and I'm like, just show up to the dock, bro. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. 
If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. Sail Kings is brought to you by Contender, legendary sport fishing boats. By Yamaha, reliability starts here. Free Fly Apparel, comfort on, adventure out. And by Costa, see what's out there. Come on, come on, sorry, Chase. <laughs> come on, you stupid thing. <laughs> it's the one-man band. I know, we're a lot of help. You guys are doing great. Jared's, he's the man, he's a legend. Grew up fishing with him, you know, back in the younger days, you know, stop at a, just a bridge right here where there's a million boats going through, and he's like, I think there's some fish here. We'd throw some pilchards and catch, you know, giant mangrove snappers and stuff. And just like, wow, I didn't even know this was a thing. Never seen that trick. Well, I just do it where you bring it. Oh, right in the center. Let me sit down a little bit. <laughs> the sail fishing in the Florida Keys can be as good as, sometimes as good as anywhere in the world. You know, in other places that we go to, either Costa Rica or Panama and the Pacific, you know, they're dredge fishing. They're teaser fishing, all that. We don't really do that in the Keys here. You kite fish. We're fishing. Jared, you know, your kites were set pretty good for a backcountry guy. Decent. Uh, John, you manage that. I want you to catch a sail. Me? You. You. I want you to catch it. You want me to miss one? He ain't gonna miss, dude. He ain't gonna miss, dude. These boys don't miss, dude. They've always been stuck in the tower all the dang time. And they expect me to be out here doing better than them, and that's not possible. <laughs> Some things in this world are just not possible. Come on, something's gonna happen. You know what it is. You there? Yeah. Whatever it is, it's big, dude. Like a like a marlin almost looking. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, dude. That thing was massive. That'd have been a bluefin. Bluefin tuna, maybe? Dude, massive. I'm not even kidding. Massive. There's been a couple bluefins around. I, yeah, I knew it was a bluefin tuna then. I mean, that line was, that reel was screaming as fast as it could go. Uh, dude, when I tell you that was an <laughs> most insane bite, it looked like shark meat. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, I was straight up. I saw that splash, it's ripping, whatever it's doing. Yeah. We're gonna need a bigger boat. It's fairly uncommon, but every once in a while, somebody will get a bite out of one in the kite, and it's like, it looks like a truck coming out of the water back there. I'm, I'm just gonna tell you this one thing we're not gonna land whatever this is <laughs> from sitting right here. You can probably see that one. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's big. Oh yeah, it's big. When he started running, it was like, there's not much he can do in that situation. Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you, it could easily have been a big bluefin, like you said, or, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think it's a shark that did that. No, I don't think so either. Holy meltdown. He's gone? He's gone. <laughs> Dude, I, I didn't see it. I look like this and all of a sudden I just, Large body. <laughs> Large body. Large, I caught the Something end Something big. <laughs> Large body, crushed it, and it was gone. I was like, oh, wow. You can go from hero to zero in a day, and it can't get a bite from anything. So it's, it can be incredibly frustrating on days like that, especially if it's a tournament. It's just the way it goes. The best you can do is just be in the spot you think is where the fish are going to be and just and wait it out. Oh, there he is. Back here. Nice, nice cast. cast, Jared. Perfect. Oh, he's coming right on you, ain't he? I think he's on you. Eat it. Come on, baby. 
He's right out here to the left. I got him. Okay, cool. Got him. Little, tiny Little, fish. baby. Little, Little baby. baby. Nice. Good job, John. Yeah, baby. Coming right out, you boy. Uh, he's so small, he hasn't learned how to jump yet. <laughs> it's going to happen in a couple months for him. I feel it. Beautiful. Yeah, uh, got, the release. got 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 the release, John. In case you were worried. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to jump or something? Yeah, do something. Do you want to do something like dancing for us or anything at all? <laughs> he goes, Uncle Larry told me about this. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Larry told me, don't eat that bait. Come here, guy. Come on, buddy. Pretty little fish. Though. Look at that. I actually guy. think that's a big hound fish. Yeah. yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Woo, there he is. There he is. <laughs> Almost there, James. Might need a little cut. Almost there. There it, is. there it is. I got these flippers here. You got him? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> now he's mad. It's off, but just enjoy him for a second. Hey. Enjoy him. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy him for a second. <laughs> go. There you go. Cutie. All right, let's go see if there's some more spray, yeah, man. Right. Let you go there, buddy. Yeah, yeah baby. Nice shot, dude. All, All right. right. Skipper. All right. There you go. That's how it do it. That little guy right there, he had his train wheels on. Didn't even know how to jump yet, man. He didn't even know how to jump yet. He was a little tiny baby. But I'll take it, man. Oh, Sight fishing sails and sand. Take it any day. Come on. We're going to go catch a couple more. When you make the kind of investment I have in boats, from my skiff to my contender, choosing the right trailer is everything. And I choose Ameritrail. They're built tough, man. You know, not only are they stylish and look good, and they have all these features, everything about it is done right. And it makes me feel comfortable trailing my boat down the highway. Ameritrail trailers. Load, launch, relax. Sail Kings is brought to you by Shimano Fishing Products and G. Loomis Rods. Feel connected. By the Tackle Center of Isla Mirada, from grunts to granders. And by Formula 88, biodegradable cleaner and degreaser. Quickly, quickly. Oh, yeah, grab, <laughs> grab that camera. Just get a little bit of video of this for me. <laughs> we like to make sure it's not just me that gets the, all the mistakes on film. Jared did this. Yeah, Jared did this. <laughs> this is this is going just so great now. Uh, we opened a bag of worms here, folks. I don't know what that was. Come on, baby. I might be gonna bite on the left too. Oh yeah, you are. Watch this, right? Yeah, we gotta wind up on that side of it. Yeah, I got you, dude. I got you. I got you. Definitely seems like him, but I'm hooked up. You're hooked up. What do we got? <laughs> Mindful the hook. Shoot the critter. I had a barracuda, hopefully you don't. What this is gonna be, I think it's gonna be a bonita. A bonita? What do you got there? 
Barracuda. Barracuda. Nice one too. What a fish. What a fish. You gotta lift them, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, we have a real attitude fish here. <laughs> you got some pliers there? Uh, yeah. In the corner there? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, real, oh yeah. Real slimy coon. Go ahead. Hi, buddy. Free. Nice. Way to miss yours. <laughs> two, I missed two of mine. Way to go, guys. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Jared, he's always been a good guy, you know, he's a goofball and just, uh, but always been a go-getter too in the grinding it out in the backcountry fishing and stuff. But he was always out there after school till dark, you know, every day. You know, we've just been uh, good friends for 25 years. Come on, find me the win. Picked up? Yeah. That seems like something. Come on, baby. Come on, jumping. Bluefin? Bluefin. Bluefin. <laughs> bluefin. Oh, <laughs> bluefin bite today. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on. That's him. Huh? Yeah. That's him. That's him. He's jumping That's too. Him. Yeah, baby. Nice job, Johnny. Come around here. Nice, baby. I like. Hey. It's not I a like, bluefin. I like you. It's not a bluefin, but it'll work. But it'll work. This feels a little backwards here, John. Yeah. <laughs> there is something going on ahead of us here. What? Look at all the birds. You getting tired yet? <laughs> John, aren't you used to like uh, telling people how to do this? Yeah. Just turn the hand. Lift up, reel down. You're gonna get a backcountry guy to tell you how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I learned everything I know from my brother. I don't get to fish with my brother, you know, and for fun really, since you know growing up on my dad's boat. That was the last time we really. You know, he's busy with his job. I'm charter fishing every day. Is he getting close, John? He's uh, still up a little ways. It's not fair you get to stay dry on the bow of a center console. Here's a leader right here. Right there? John, come on back, baby. Come all the way back oh, and yeah, around. A couple obstacles. Uh, yeah, just a couple, no big deal. You're doing great. You are doing great. It, sometimes it seems like they just come out of nowhere. You know, they're so fast. All of a sudden, it's just like, boom, there they are. As fast as they show up, they disappear that fast. It's challenging, but it's a really cool fish to catch. They call that the 360. Walk like this never happened. <laughs> If you're Will Flack, you don't just go fishing. You get up at 4 a.m., get your motor going. Get this motor going. Sun's up, shade's up. Pick it, tie it, stretch it, haul it. Ah, dang it. Let's try this school. Nope. Best restaurant ever. <laughs> you are going to be back by 3. 3-ish? 6-ish. Bonefish, 2 o'clock. Strip, strip, strip. Hit it, kiss it. That's it. <laughs> okay, your turn. And now it's a fishing trip. For those who need water to breathe. Costa Sunglasses. Got him. Here you go. Here, call it in. Call it in. Get it, girl. Got him. Double. I insist on having a clean boat when I fish. It helps protect my tackle, helps protect everything about that boat. So when I choose a cleaner degreaser, there's only one choice. Formula 88. Cut. Ah, oh, damn it. Fabulous. Just take it down a notch there, cowboy. Sail Kings is brought to you by Contender, legendary sport fishing boats. Ameritrail trailers, load, launch, relax. And by Aftco Technical Gear.
All right, boy. It's a little bit bigger one it's than I got. It's a bigger one, yeah. Dude, what a grind of a day. What a grind, what a grind. You know what? Well, that's tournament fishing. If you're out there doing it, that's what we're doing today. Man, it's just like in the back, the tarpon. Everyone's different, you know? You get the ones that are super hot when you hook them, and then you get the ones that are super lazy. And but the, For sure, I think same with sales. They hook them sometimes and they just go wild. Yeah. They go wild, buck wild. Come on, baby. Should I just say it? Just to say? Just to say it, okay? <laughs> just to, just to. Yeah, baby. Way to go, James. What did I do? <laughs> just, just being you. Just what being did you. I do? <laughs> just, just being you, you know? You know, you showed up. Happy to be here. I thought these fish were supposed to jump. That's what I thought. James, you're doing great. Hey, thanks. That's all I can say. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's all I can say. That's all I, I'm trying to think of like nice compliments and there's not many in my mind right <laughs> now many. about you. You look great. You smell good. <laughs> yeah. You're doing great. You're doing great. Sweetie. Thank God we got this one because I was getting a little low on food, man. Yeah, you catch this one, John. Maybe we'll get some pizzas or something. Stay with it there, John. You're, do you're, <laughs> you're doing do great. You're doing great. You're doing great, bud. I didn't think you could fight one this long. Just little old me hanging out up here. For all the bossing John's probably done over the years, oh, yeah. up in the tower. Real wine, right? Real wine. Oh my God, I can't believe you missed that one. We'll see you in season two, for, to be continued, <laughs> right? Season two, episode three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People don't realize the happy hour starts at five o'clock. We're out here. And it's close. It has to be close to five, you know. And here we are, just bobbing away, <laughs> fighting this fish. <laughs> Definitely something special about being out here at sunset. There is, man. Don't spend a lot of time out here late in the evening. It's different, though, right? Like when you were charter fishing, you know, you're ready to get home and do a three o'clock. Get home. Get home. Get back to your family and stuff. But when you're out with your buddies, time just flies. Whole man. Like, different ball game. John's thinking otherwise right now, but. <laughs> yeah. Time's really flying, yep. Yeah. <laughs> There's the leader right there, Greg. Here's the leader, finally. Nice. Here, come by. <sighs> All right, man. You got it. Nice fish. Good job, John. Beautiful fish, though. There you go. Woo, man! Stubborn fish, man. Beautiful, kicking John. Good. All right, kicking good. All right. See ya. Ah. Woo! <laughs> right? That's one way to end it. In the beginning, I said, I want you to catch a sailfish. And he goes, I want to catch a sailfish. I don't ever get to do it. <laughs> he finally does. He gets the one that's stubborn that wants to go straight down, right? A bit of a battle, but. Hey, battle. guys. Hey, at least you got awesome. him before the sun. What a Hey. Yeah. What a grind, but you know what, man? You guys made it happen, man. Able to take a, take advantage of our uh, our shots. And uh, let's get cleaned up, man. Let's, let's go. Let's get rolling. Boom! Yeah, baby! Double. Way to go, guys! Woo! I like the way that you're looking at me.